custodians, caretakers and owners of the country on which we gather upon here today. Um, celebrating on such a contentious day together as mob in the one place, you know, it shows our resilience as black fellas. Um, so I just want to say stay safe, stay hydrated. Nah. Love yous all. Today we're here to share with you um, some of my culture, my, my language, Yugumbe speaking language from the Minjibu clan group. I'd also like to pay my respects to my, my cultural teachers, my cultural elders, um, Uncle Mad, Pai Curry, Nadyang, Uncle Nadyang, and uh, my Uncle Athol Compton there. The first song and dance we've done was a cleansing dance. It cleanses the circle of any negativity, any bad spirits maybe hanging around, uh, and gives us safe passage to continue on our ceremony. I want to share with you guys some songs and dances that hold different stories, different laws, different protocols, and um, different teachings. I'd also like to see if you give me a big hand for my little niece here. It's her first day. <laughs> little Maya. She up there with her father dancing. And that's what it's all about, passing down that culture. It's not about us, it's just about us holding on to it to the next generation. This next song and dance is called Juan Wagan. And Juan Wagan speaks of the men, women and children going down to the fresh water and they're hunting the eel tail catfish. The men will get their billers, their spears, and they chuck stones in the water. This scares the fish away to a new hiding spot. In that time, in that time, the men get their biller and they start spearing those fish when they see them dart off. Up home, the women, we've got a eucalypt and a wattle that stuns the fish. That makes them go belly up when they splash it on the water, extracting the oils by crushing them up, smashing it on the water. He'll go belly up and we just collect them there. This one here, Duan Wagan.